practically anywhere electric power is used, and where isn't it used, you'll find in operation an inconspicuous object called a transformer. The purpose of a transformer, as we learn at the Wagner Electric Corporation plant in St. Louis, is to adjust the voltage of electricity flowing through a system. Regardless of fluctuations in demand, the power supply must remain constant. And that's the job performed by the sturdy pieces of equipment we see being assembled here. From the tiny model mounted on a light pole outside your home to the 50,000 volt type like this used at power stations, transformers have one big enemy in common, against which an endless war must be fought here in the factory. That enemy is lightning, which, surging along a power line, can jump the voltage in a millionth of a second to thousands of times the normal load. When such a charge hits the transformer in actual use or in a simulated setup, not only must the transformer not break down, but it must permit no slightest variation in the power that flows through it into farms, factories, homes, hospitals, and other essential elements of the community. And that's why our electrical manufacturers run exhaustive tests on every piece of power transmission machinery turned out. In the laboratory, Photographic film records the results of artificial lightning surging through the transformer as much as three million volts in a single flash. Thus, it can be determined not only whether the transformer is up to standard, but if it is weak, exactly where the fault lies. One more link in the chain that brings us a steady, dependable flow of electricity 24 hours a day, seven days a week.